DSC 2021 paper. So the first question says, consider the problem of maximizing uh, a function, and this function has to be maximized with respect to x and y. And you're given a constraint. The constraint is x plus y, and it says be some parameter in this that takes a value greater than one. VB is the maximum value attained. मतलब जब ये function maximize हो गया, when you maximized this function, the maximum value that you get out of this function that is represented by VB. So the maximum value of this function will be called VB. Now after you find that maximum value, it says let V dash B be the derivative of VB. Which of the following is correct? So you're supposed to go ahead. Differentiate that maximum value that you have attained with respect to B, and then give the answer to the question. Okay, so so let's see what I can do. See, there are two ways to solve this question. Actually, three ways. Let me take you through all three. The first one can be that you form a Lagrange, right, and When you go ahead and you form a Lagrange, you uh, you know go ahead and say that this is my function. Yeah, V B will be the minimum value attained as a function of this is what it says. Correct. Correct. So you go ahead and uh, you have you form a Lagrange. So after you form a Lagrange. Subject to a constraint, constraint is x plus y equal to hundred. You try to uh, minimize it because it is saying the minimum value attained. That's the first way possible. The second thing that you could have done is that you use the method of substitution. Both these methods are correct. You use the method of substitution, and you go ahead and say, okay, if x plus y is hundred, y will be Hundred minus x. You put it in your subjective function and get this uh, objective function and get this as a function of x only. And then you minimize it because you want to find the minimum value attained. That's also correct. Now one other thing which many students did last time, which I don't find it correct, but but you know, uh, I'll say this is a tukka that the answer came correct. They simply said, "Ki ma'am, if v b is the minimum value, then v dash." B should have been equal to zero. I don't agree to that. V dash B is the derivative of the minimum value. The derivative of the minimum value may or may not be zero. I'm finding the different derivative of something, right? So um, V B is the minimum value of the function, right? And V dash B is the derivative of that minimum value. So it may or may not be zero. So I think that although in this case people got this correct. People got v dash b equal to zero as correct using the third method. Also, it's not a good idea to go ahead and use that one. Now let's see how to solve this question. So I am using the method of substitution, but it is up to you. If you want, you can do through Lagrange also. Let's take this function x square plus two x plus b y square, and let us go ahead and subject this to constraint x plus y equal to hundred. So from this y. What will I get? I will get that my y is hundred minus x. I will go ahead and put this y in this function. So instead of y, I have hundred minus x here, and here also when I will put it, instead of y, I will get hundred minus x. Now because they are asking, they are telling me that this v b is the minimum value attained. We will go ahead and find the minimum value of the function. And how do you you minimize the function? You differentiate the function and you equate it to zero. Now, the 
only variable I can differentiate it with is x. So differentiation of x square will give you 2x. Then here, this is 100 into x. So differentiation of 100x will be 100. This is minus x square. So differentiation of minus x square will be minus 2x. This 2 will remain as it is. Plus, I will use chain rule here. So 2 will come down. So 200 minus x. And differentiation of minus x will be minus 1. And you will get it equal to 0. So when you differentiate this with respect to x, this is what you will get. You can just go ahead and open this up. You will get 2x plus 200 minus 4x minus 2b 100 plus 2bx equal to 0. Now just see what I have done. I have just tried to simplify this. So you know between 2x minus 4x, I will get minus 2x. And then I will get this 200 as it is. And here if you take this, you will get minus 200b plus 2bx. Now you can go ahead and between this and this, take 2x common, you will get b minus 1. Then between this and this, take 200 common, you will get 1 minus b, right? So if I just revert this, this I can just write it as minus b minus 1. Now you can just take b minus 1 and you will get this answer. So kuch nahi kiya hai, abhi tak. I have just differentiated the function and equated it to zero because I want to minimize the function. Now think about this. The question tells me that B is a parameter taking some value greater than one. Now here I have got that this is equal to zero. When will this be equal to zero? This will be equal to zero if either X is 100 or b is 1. But b is greater than 1. This is what the question says. So I cannot have b equal to 1. This is not possible. That means the only value of x that I will have will be x is equal to 100. So now I have to check whether the function is actually minimized or not. So what can I do? I can just go ahead and differentiate the function again with respect to x. When I will differentiate this function again with respect to x, I am getting 2b minus 1. Yaha se dekh lo, differentiate karke. This is your first order differentiation, del f by del x. If you differentiate this with respect to x, 2x ka differentiation will be 2 and b minus 1 is a constant. So you will get 2b minus 1. The quotient tells you that b is greater than 1. So which means this will be positive. That means this entire thing will be positive. So when your second order derivative that is positive, what have you done? You have minimized your function. So what do we see? We see that the function has been minimized. Now let's go back. Question is very easy. It's just that they will change the language. They said minimize the function. We have minimized the function. Then saying vb is the minimum value attained. So value nikal lo, minimum value. When is the minimum value? Minimum value is when x is 100. What was y? y was 100 minus x. So it will be 100 minus 100, which will be 0. So what will be the minimum value that you will get? The minimum value will be just put in this function x equal to 100 and y equal to 0. So you will get 100 square plus 200 into 0 plus b into 0 square. So you will get the answer as 100 square. So the minimum value of the function is 100 square. Dhyan se dekho. They said that the minimum value of the function, usko vb bolna hai. To humne isko vb bol diya. But is this a function of b? No which means this is a constant function. You take any value of b, b ki koi bhi value ho, vb will be 100 square. This is what my vb is. It's not a function of b. It is not getting affected by b. This is what my minimized value is coming. We have got this minimized value. 
Now finally, what it is saying? It is saying once you find this minimized value, find the derivative of that minimized value. Okay, it's called differentiation Nikalo with respect to B. So if you will differentiate V with respect to B, you will get zero because this is the constant. So the answer is V dash B is zero. That's the answer to your question. So third one is the correct option. Very easy question. Just follow the steps. They said minimize the function. We minimized it. They said VB is the minimum value. We found the minimum value. They said differentiate the minimum value. We differentiated that and we got the answer.